Hello, my merciful brothers and sisters. It is I, Mr. Mercy, bringing you a little bit of an announcement on this channel. I know I'm still very small. I have less than 10 subscribers. I don't think anybody's even going to watch this, but in the future, if somebody happens to stumble upon this, you know, they'll say, oh, that happened. So, I am here to officially announce that, I mean, I haven't paid for it yet, but I'm going to have the money very, very soon, and I'm going to be, you know, going through with this, is that I am going to be going to BlizzCon 2016. Now, I say going with uh, an asterisk because I'm not actually going to BlizzCon. I'm not going to be in Anaheim, California, uh, but... I will be purchasing a BlizzCon 2016 virtual ticket along with a BlizzCon goodie bag. Uh, so, if you guys don't know, the virtual ticket, uh, I can actually go to it here very quickly. I'm on the, um, I'm on the, uh, Overwatch page right now, but, uh, so, if you guys don't know, the BlizzCon 2016 virtual ticket goes for about 40 bucks and it's a great option um, to use if you can't afford to go to BlizzCon because BlizzCon is actually a very expensive con to go to. The con, at the, like the badge itself is like $200 and then you have to figure in, you know, like food costs and you also have to figure in hotel and it's, you probably run upwards of almost a thousand dollars trying to go to BlizzCon. So, it's a very expensive con to go to and a lot of people, a lot of people can't go. But this is a really good way, you know, for people who want to go to BlizzCon, who can't afford to go to BlizzCon, um, can still enjoy that experience. So the BlizzCon 2016 virtual ticket is on sale now. It's uh, about 40 bucks, and basically what it lets you do is you can uh, not only stream pretty much every event at BlizzCon um, to your computer, but you also will have uh, the ability to watch all of the panels uh, after they're finished. You can you can rewatch them uh, for up to two weeks. Uh, you get replays of them. So all you need for the BlizzCon virt uh, virtual ticket is a computer with internet connection and basically a Battle.net account and 40 bucks. And that's it. I mean, you can watch, from what I hear, you can watch BlizzCon, uh, the streams, you can watch them for free, but um, the virtual ticket will allow you to watch other events uh, later, should you so, so choose, whereas if you watch them live, you're not going to be able to go back and, and see the things you missed. But another cool thing that the virtual ticket does is it also gives you a bunch of in-game goodies. So, if you get a virtual ticket to BlizzCon, you're going to be getting stuff for uh, Heroes of the Storm, for Hearthstone, for World of Warcraft, for StarCraft 2, Diablo 3, and of course, Overwatch. So, you get a lot of cool in-game goodies with that, and if you go on and purchase a BlizzCon 2016 virtual ticket, you can also pre-purchase, uh, if, if you buy the ticket, you can pre-purchase a BlizzCon 2016 goodie bag. Now these are the things that you know attendees to the convention who actually go to the convention uh, all of these people get those so you know they're they're usually reserved for people who actually attend the convention in California but if you pre-purchase your virtual ticket you can buy one of these goodie bags and have it shipped to you so it's almost like you're actually you know, attending the convention yourself. You're getting some physical swag and memorabilia from the convention that you didn't even have to go to. So that's awesome. The BlizzCon 2016 goodie bag is going to be, I think it says $35 somewhere. I'm forgetting where I saw that, but I think it says $35. Um, and I can tell you the stuff. I can actually probably show you a picture up on screen. Uh, the stuff you're going to get is uh, you're going to get a Diablo uh, set of Dungeons and Dragons dice, which is really cool. Uh, you're also going to get a Horde slash Alliance coaster uh, for your uh, 
you know, for your drinks that you may have. Um, let's see if I can get a bigger picture here. Yes, okay. You're also going to get what looks to be a, uh, I think that's a, a, a Zerg. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I don't play StarCraft, but I think that's a Zerg. It's either a Zerg or a Protoss. Uh, like, it's either like a pencil topper or an antenna topper or some kind of thing like that. Um, you also get a Heroes of the Storm guitar pick keychain, which is pretty cool. You get a Hearthstone. Looks like that's a cleaning cloth. Um, you get... This is a really cool thing that I'm looking forward to. You get a... Uh, inflatable replica of Reinhardt's hammer from Overwatch. That's really cool. I'm super excited for that. And of course, you get a uh, BlizzCon 2016 Stein. Now, the reason that I recommend you guys get this uh, goodie bag is because this is a very special year for BlizzCon. This is their 10th anniversary. So all of this stuff is 10th anniversary uh, anniversary themed, and it's it's definitely going to be a, a, a BlizzCon that you're going to want to remember. So, I highly recommend if you're getting the virtual ticket, you know, go for the extra 35 bucks and get this uh, goodie bag. I'm going to be trying to get it. I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to be getting it because um, they could sell out. But I'm going to try to get this when I get my ticket. I should be getting my ticket um, in the coming couple of weeks, I should say. Uh, because I'm going to also be, you know, doing the, the Summer Games loot box opening, and around the same time that I do that, I'm going to be getting my ticket to BlizzCon 2016. So, uh, I believe that, you know, I, I'll probably do a, a video after BlizzCon, which of course is happening November 4th and 5th this year, maybe doing a little bit of a, a recap on some of the things that were talked about. You know, I... I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be too much to talk about, but, you know, if there's if there's some cool stuff unveiled at BlizzCon, even if it's not related to Overwatch, even if it's just, you know, general Blizzard stuff, I'll probably talk about it. So, I just want to let you guys know that, yes, I am going to be virtually attending BlizzCon 2016, and I'll be getting that goodie bag. If, if, I, if I get that goodie bag, I'll do an opening for you guys of that on this channel, so you guys can see firsthand what this stuff looks like. I mean, there's other openings of it already on YouTube, but, you know, if you guys want to see that from me, I can do that. So, while we won't know the full schedule until probably, like, a month or two before the con, there are some things that, of course, have already been announced for BlizzCon, and that, of course, is the eSports. Everybody loves BlizzCon for their eSports, and this year is going to be one of the best years for esports in my opinion like i'm not super big into esports but i just watched the other night i watched the heroes of the storm world championship from blizzcon 2015 and that was fantastic like i got super into that and loved it so there has already been announced at of course the blizzcon official website that there will be the world of warcraft arena world championship the heroes of the storm fall championship the Hearthstone World Championship, and of course, everybody's favorite, StarCraft II's World Championship Series Global Finals. They're all going to be happening at BlizzCon, and this was just announced yesterday, actually, and I haven't seen people talking about it, but it's been officially announced on the Overwatch website as of yesterday. The Overwatch World Cup 2016 uh, is going to be happening at BlizzCon. I am so excited for this. This is definitely my most anticipated event of BlizzCon. And it looks like this is very early in the stages of getting it all together. It looks like the uh, the qualifiers and everything are going to begin sometime next month. Uh, and this will all lead up. They'll have the road to BlizzCon for Overwatch and on the BlizzCon 2016 stage, we will see, uh, more than likely, you know, the semifinals uh, and the finals for the Overwatch World Cup. So, I am super excited. I, I mean, we don't know who's going to be participating. I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to see Envious there, as they're one of the top Overwatch players in the world right now. And maybe Cloud9 as well. But, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, who ends up at BlizzCon. Because we're going to be having, you know... Uh, exhibitions from America, Europe, and, you know, everywhere else. So, it's it's going to be a really interesting uh, event at BlizzCon. It's going to be the first, you know, big championship for Overwatch. And 
I'm super excited for it. I can't wait to see uh, how that plan pans out. And, of course, they could do some special stuff with this. I mean, there, there could be announced that, just like it was for Heroes of the Storm last year, that uh, the heroes that whatever, you know, the winning team uses could, you know, have some kind of, you know, special thing added into the game. I know that, like, like I said, last year for Heroes of the Storm, you know, all the, the heroes that Cloud9 used went on sale uh, because of that. So, you know, we'll see what they do with that um, and see, you know, who takes the Overwatch World Cup in 2016. I'm super excited for it. I know I've said that about 15 million times, but I truly am. This is going to be a fantastic event, and I can't wait to attend BlizzCon 2016 virtually and watch all of this go down live. But that's all I had to say, and as always... I'm Mr. Mercy. Peace, everyone. Oh.